by the Spains. Oh, and the ball's given away by Eddie Jones. Straight to Gilmore. He's got a good left foot. And it's bounced off the head of uh, Jay Cooper. And just as well, really, because Matt Gould would have done very well to get to that. Very important block again there by Coops. Um, from where we're sat, it looked like that could have been making its way into the far corner, potentially. So we got a really good little flick on it there. the header just wide from Cairo uh, Mitchell and we've probably had a little bit too much uh, more space than we would have liked there. Gordon and East playing uh, between themselves. Long hopeful ball through to uh, Mitchell, former Kings Lynn uh, town player. There's Gordon, all Rochdale at the moment, Gilmore, clever little ball into East, East to Sinclair, shots and that is a, taking a deflection of uh, Lewis Banks and Matt Gould's had to be sharp and get down to his right. Yeah, good, good solid stop by Gould. He wasn't stretching too much, I don't think, to one you'd expect him to make but I'm sure he'll be happy with that to get his hands on the ball, make a solid save. Here's Hayes and he's lost it but uh, Altium really sloppy at the moment and, and undoubtedly unsettled by this Rochdale start. Here's Amaluzor, Con Clark. Con Clark to Newby, here's Eddie Jones, pulls the ball across, Newby back to Con Clark, it's a great save, chance, goal, no! And eventually the ball's headed into the great alarms of Tin and Brooks who's done well there but that's much better from the Robins. That's us at our best, you know. That is absolutely us at our best in a transition, breaking on a side, runners overloading from full back and in wide areas, cut back, sets for shots. You know, we don't get any better than that, and I hope that gives us some confidence to really start trying to take a bit more command in the game now. Brooks. He's uh, replaced uh, Louis Molden. Very, had a very good uh, spell at, uh, at Rochdale and is now at Northampton Town. Here's Newby. Con Clark, lovely turn. Inside, Newby. Good ball, Lewis Banks. Dinks it in. Up go the heads. Oh. And Con Clark's done well there. He's uh, <laughs> out jumped uh, Gordon. Got a decent header and it's straight down the throat of uh, Tin and Brooks, but... Uh, East with the corner into the near post well headed clear by uh, Lewis Banks Con Clark does well and he's got a chance to uh, get uh, Newby away Newby's down in down the left inside left channel Alex Newby oh, Osborne takes a deflection off Nevi for a corner great move yeah fantastic you know in transitions I don't think there's probably a better side in the league than us as we've shown there great play by Chris Great play by Noobs, we get the shot away, it's taking some, some really good last ditch defending there. Con Clark, Newby, Osborne, superb stuff, in comes the corner, well cleared by uh, the skipper Ebanks Landel. Here's Osborne. Amaluzor goes for it, but his uh, ball is uh, a break here. Isaac Marriott's tussling superbly but uh, Mellor still got the ball finds Sinclair still defending to do here for Altrincham East it's a great decent shot but uh, Matt Gould had that uh, covered all the way it definitely looks like Chris is hitting this one decent uh, strike but the wall does its job Lewis Baines come Clark again Inside, cuts inside, good shot. Oh, oh. great save from Tin and uh, Brooks. He looks a decent goalkeeper because Chris Con Clark has done everything right there. Yeah, you know, as soon as he cuts inside, there's only one thing on his mind. He's going to try and pull that trigger when he gets half a yard. Yeah, certainly, uh, Ultrium overall, I think, have had the better of things. Good header oh. by uh, Lewis Banks. It's a really good header. Up goes Amaluzor. Bounces fortunately for the visitors, and here's uh, Tyree Sinclair on the break. There's three men uh, forward. Mello gets into some good positions, 
being shackled by uh, Elliot Osborne who's done really, really uh, well there because uh, this is an absolutely fascinating uh, encounter because both sides are breaking from uh, the opposition's corners fantastically well. It's been a good game, it's been a really good game. I think definitely after that first 10, maybe 15 minutes, we've definitely been the stronger side. Um, but really good defending there by Elliot. He's had to you know, sprint virtually the length of the pitch to get back in. Um, really important bit of play from him. He looks like the man uh, assigned to deal with uh, Meller as well because he, he's not an out-and-out -out striker. He is 4-4-2, but he's playing behind uh, behind um, Kyra Mitchell. Here's uh, Eddie Jones finds Linney. Back to Jones. Good play. Can Jones get a shot? And he can. It's a decent shot. Oh. Here's the post. Yay! Yay! Get it! Justin Abeluzo. Eddie Jones' is shot. Saved by Turner Brooks. Bounces off the post. Justin Abeluzo's there to rifle the ball into the goal and give the Robins the lead in the 44th minute. It's Altium 1, Rochdale 0. Yeah, nothing more than we deserve there, I think. Um, great to see Eddie up, up that end of the pitch, managing to get a shot off. He's normally looking for a cutback or, or to link the play, but he's had a go. To be fair, the keeper makes a good stop. And then once it comes off the post, it can fall to anyone. Thankfully for us, it's gone straight to Justin. But like I said, no more than we deserve. I think we've been excellent after that first 15 minutes. Brooks, it's a good ball. Gordon to Hayes. Hayes sweeps it out wide, it's good. Sinclair. Pulls the ball across and uh, Carol Mitchell challenged by uh, Jake Cooper. Cameron John. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's got to be a yellow card for uh, Justin Amaluzo for pulling back uh, Cameron John's uh, shorts. East with the free kick. And. Uh, Gordon's come in at the. Uh, in fact, it was Terry Sinclair's come in at the uh, the far post, and it was a decent header. He might be a tad disappointed that he's uh, he's cleared the bar. Playing his uh, third game for uh, Rochdale since uh, replacing uh, Louis Molden on his. Uh, move on loan to uh, Northampton, here's Chris Con clark plays the ball, oh there's a chance for Linney, yeah. yay, Regan Linney makes it two goals to nil to Altrincham and that's all about Chris Con clark picking the ball up in midfield, capitalising on an error from uh, the visitors, slipping the ball through and Regan Linney has got his uh, goal and once he was cleaned through, never any real doubt, despite the fact that Turnham Brooks is uh, certainly a very decent keeper and he had uh, a good keeper to beat. The way to pass from Chris is what makes the goal. Um, brilliant play from him, which is what you expect from Chris. That's what he's in the side to do. Um, and then the finish from Regan was never any doubt. And Regan's deserved that. It's been a little bit of a stop-start season with him picking up an injury uh, halfway through and then since he's come back there's there's tended to be someone ahead of him in that number nine position now he's getting his turn he's getting his run in the team and his performances have been excellent the past few games and, and he's got the goal he deserved huge goal for uh, the home side uh, there because uh, Rochdale was certainly asking a few questions it's been a really even uh, game Altium certainly uh, deserved to be ahead but not much in it and now a two-goal uh, cushion, which is uh, is certainly something to defend and build on. Oh, Here's wow. a good ball through to uh, Isaac Marriott. Marriott's through, pulls it across, chance for Carl Clark. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Chris Carl Clark! Isaac Marriott does the setup. Chris Carl Clark does the rest. And Altrincham has scored twice in as many minutes to make it Altrincham three. A Rochdale nil. Yeah, and much like the way a couple of minutes ago. Chris, it was all about Chris, That, that uh, the second goal we scored, the third goal there. It's all about Isaac Marriott and the work he does. 
Um, great run breaking through midfield, but then times the pass perfectly. A lot of players maybe would have shot themselves, maybe would have looked for the ball across uh, the face to go where I think uh, Alex Newby was running in. But he's had that little look, he's pulled it back for Chris running onto it. And then, you know, we've seen Chris in those positions so often. It's never in doubt, really. A, a, a brilliant finish. And Altrium, so difficult to, to play against because the run can come from almost anywhere. It could be Justin Amaluz or it could be Lewis Banks. It was Isaac Marriott on that occasion. And that's very difficult for any, uh, any opponent uh, to deal with. Well, we've just got runners coming from everywhere. Everyone wants to run in behind and it causes massive issues. The game starts to get a little bit stretched. Um, and in the space of two minutes, we've managed to take the game away from them, uh, you know, in the click of the fingers. It's a massive, massive ask for them to get anything out of this game. Um, but, but, you know, killer instinct from the lads to, to really finish him off there. Rochdale fans, a few of them, in fact, more than a few of them, streaming out in that uh, far corner over there. But they have a free kick to try and uh, get back into this uh, game. And uh, it'll be Adam Clayton to take the uh, the free kick Clayton decent delivery up go the heads and that's a great save and it's over the bar I think uh, Matt Gould has somehow clawed that onto the post and then the rebound has gone over brilliant from Goldie you know he deserves so much credit Goldie coming in the way he has done to, to fill in for Ethan while well, he's been injured he's been superb in every game um, and what a massive save that is back off the post a massive moment there because you go back to 3-1 suddenly their tails are up and they've got the better from once so he's, he's won all, virtually all his duels today been as secure in possession as ever gave us a great outlet on the on the overlap but it's just sort of what you, we've come to expect off Eddie Jones every week now oh it's great play by Justin Amaluzo pulls it across Dior Angus tries to force it in, goes out for a goal uh, kick, but Justin Amaluzo just didn't give that one up. Probably not a 3-0 game on the balance of play, but definitely in terms of the chances created, I think we've been miles ahead of them. Certainly been much more potent in the opposite penalty area. There goes the final uh, whistle in front of 3,441 uh, fans, including 898 uh, Rochdale fans. It has finished. Altrincham 3, Rochdale 0. Goals from uh, Justin Amaluzo in the 44th minute, just before the interval. And then two goals in as many minutes midway through the second half. First of all, from uh, Regan Linney after 66 minutes, and then Chris Conclark a minute uh, later.